Hey guys, Sugar Daddy Shaves here and we are going to look at two lather bowls. I had a special request on, I think at least Reddit. I think he contacted me through Reddit because he maybe had trouble sending it. You know, YouTube does, doesn't really have any direct message features. And so he found me on Reddit and asked if I could compare my usual 3D printed bowl with timeless bowl that they have out and I said uh, sure but I had my timeless bowl away at a different location and so I finally got them together so let's do a quick comparison video uh, as you can see they're both pretty much the same height they are obviously different diameters such that this one can fit inside my bowl the interior is slightly different this has more of a glossy interior with the plastic that was printed is printed with it the design is free if you have a printer or access to one you can also go to sugardaddyshaves.com and i have a page there about 3d printing and i have three different vendors that my viewers have reported have given them good service and good prices and so if you don't have your own 3d printer you can download the designs off of the thingiverse.com webpage. I'll give you the link for that. And then you can submit those designs to uh, any of those three vendors. I'm sure there are more, but those are just the ones that have been reported to me. And, and I have got confirmation from further uh, viewers that say, yeah, I used your page and it, it went well. Uh, so good luck with that. Uh, Roger Quintero is the one who designed this and he actually printed it for me. It's very generous. Now the timeless bowl, Something, some things I definitely like about it and some things I don't. This one's pretty much nigh perfect for me, unless I'm using a small brush and then it kind of gets a little bit swallowed. I love the construction of this bowl. It's a, a firm plastic, but it's not a brittle plastic. It can take a little bit of squeezing. So uh, during transportation, things like that, it should be just fine. It's not gonna break if you drop it. It does have a, it's not glossy on the outside. It is kind of a matte-like surface on the outside, but it's been more polished and soft on the inside. I did seem to feel a little bit of drag on the surface, on the outside of the bowl here with the brush. And I looked at my brushes when I was testing it, and it did seem like it was... I was using this brush in the bowl. The bristles on the side were being pulled around the side of them kind of like this as I was making circles and so to me because it's actually as you can see look that's not a lot of room in there for the lather to be um, and you move the brush a little bit and it's, it's really I like the depth of this but I wish it was a little wider now if you use a very small brush this would probably be just fine but for me the drag, I don't know that it was actually pulling very hard on this, the bristles in a sideways direction, but kind of my instincts led me to that conclusion. And I don't want to endanger my bristles, and, and so I don't use the timeless bowl very much. I do use it actually to hold uh, some knives that I have, some pocket knives. Um, and then every once in a while, I'll bring it out and do a little comparison. Uh, I got it a great deal on it, and so I'll definitely be keeping it around. I may you know, try it some other point. Now, if I was using a synthetic or something where I didn't care as much about the bristles, then maybe this bowl would have a little bit more use in my den. But yeah, they're pretty much exactly the same height. Um, this does have, of course, the textured insides, the, the ridges, and this has a little slight bump in the middle, and it's got the these ridges come up the sides in a similar manner as to this. We've got the bump in the middle. It's more pronounced though. We've got ridges. I actually like the roundness of the timeless bowls ridges better than the sharpness of these. However, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And so interior, the shape is very similar. I really like so many things about this bowl. I just wish the size was a little different. Let's do some measuring. The interior lip of mine 
We'll measure the inside here. This one has an interned lip, which is very handy for keeping that lather in. The timeless bowl does not. The uh, lip actually turns out a little bit. I don't think I had a problem with the lather running over, um, but I'm not sure. So the interior diameter of the lip there, see my glass, I need bifocals, guys, is 40, 40 centimeters. Five and a half inches, uh, roughly. Not 40 centimeters, 140. 140 centimeters, I'm going crazy. 140 centimeters, five and a half inches is the in interior diameter uh, at the lip here. So it's a little bit larger, uh, about a half an inch down. And the interior diameter of the timeless bowl at the very top here. hundred and thirteen or so millimeters and about four and a half inches. This has a, the thickness of the bottom on the timeless bowl is a little thinner. It's very structurally sound, but it's just that this guy is quite thick at the bottom. I'm sure it's got a honeycomb pattern inside. I'm sure it's kind of hollow, which is the way the computer printing works. So it's not more sturdy necessarily. Uh, interior depth seems to be 60, about 60 millimeters and two and maybe five eighths inches deep. And I believe this is two and three eighths inches deep, if my memory serves. No, about two and five eighths as well. About the same uh, depth on those. Uh, so there's the, that's the kind of the comparison. Uh, while we're here, let's do outer diameter. Looks like 156 millimeters in di outside diameter which would be six, uh, six and three sixteenths. No, those quarter, six and six and an eighth, about six and an eighth inches in outer diameter. And then the outer diameter of this, and it's a little, you know, it has these down, up, down, up things. Let's just make the maximum because that's kind of what we're doing for outer diameter. 125 millimeters outer diameter diameter and four four inches and probably seven eighths roughly a little bit touch more than four and seven eighths inches in outer diameter right here so my bowl is definitely and i say my meaning the one i use so often um, this bowl is more capacity of course than this guy um, if I have a smaller brush than a, a size in between, if you download the plans for this, you'll actually get three, I think, different sizes. This is the extra large size. And he preferred, Roger preferred a smaller size. And so those are available. So you could get something that was maybe more the size closer to this if you wanted to and print that for yourself. So there we go. A little comparison. Um, this had the size of sideways drag on the bristles, which is the main reason I kind of stopped using it. The capacity as well just doesn't compare. Um, there we go. Hopefully that helps you guys out with whether to maybe print your own. Now, to me, the Timeless Bowl, I think it's a great one to try out because it's not very expensive. I think it's 12 bucks online. And so if you're placing an order for an online vendor that has the Timeless Bowl as well, maybe have them throw it in your order. You know, that way you're not adding shipping to the $12 for no reason. Uh, and so I think it's definitely worth a shot because the pluses are big with this one. The material, the, uh, the quality seems really good. It's just not the right size for me. And so it might be a good size for you and depending. Now also, if I did not want to mix up the whole lather at once before the shave, which is what I do like to do, if I just wanted to kind of get the brush started with an early lather, 
uh, and not and, and just kind of mix up a concentrate, then I think this bowl would be perfect for that. Or any, any bowl about that size would, I guess. Well, there we go. Hope that helps you guys. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care.